and the multinational construction companies conspired to stop trade unions trying to improve health and safety on building sites. All of the institutions of our state have utterly failed you. And I am utterly ashamed to be part of a state which has allowed this to happen. inflicted on thousands and their families and I'd like to see some of these face prison. We need a proper inquiry into the disgraceful practice of blacklisting. You can go to jail for two years for hacking somebody's phone but in the case of blacklisting there is no imprisonment and there is no sanction. Building workers sent to prison. I got six years. Desi Wharton got nine years. Where are they now? Asking for justice. They're blacklisted people. Not because they don't like your faces, but because they're scared stiff of collective bargain. I got dismissed from the Olympics for blowing the whistle on the blacklist. The man in charge of industrial relations of Crossrail was a senior man in the blacklisting organisation. There weren't just construction workers, academics, lawyers, journalists, environmental activists were on those lists. There's information on those files which could only have come from police officers. Identities that were created by the state for the purposes of spying on people. And uh, no Robert McAlpine fears a high court conspiracy trial. blacklisting any longer. We will no longer be denied our rights on sites. Every trade unionist has a right to organise. And we are going to do that, whether they like it or not. <laughs>